everyone, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how I've made this little gift card holder in the style of a wallet. So we've got dad on the front there, but you could have son, daughter, the name of anybody. You know, it can be whatever you want and for whoever you want. And then inside, I've got a photo of me and my dad, but I am going to change that photo. Just an example there of how it looks with some gift cards in. So the idea I've got is I'm going to have like one gift card with maybe some money on for a coffee, then maybe like an Amazon gift card and maybe another one for some clothing or something, some company. But then you can also pop money in there as well if you would rather do that. And I know you can sometimes get those cards that like little friendship cards or just cards that just have a nice message on them. I think that would be nice to put in there as well. I've held mine together with hook and loop, but you could use a magnet there if you want to and you can conceal that. But it's just a really fun way, I think, to, you know, give some money, the gift card. I think this would work well at Christmas time as well. You could pop them on the tree, pop them in the stocking. This is going to go into a hamper. No specialty dies are needed for this one. I've just used dies with the dad. And then I used a die to cut the window here, but you could cut that by hand. You know, use your scissors. It's easy to do. So let me show you how to make it. So first of all, I'll go through what you need for the main outside and then the inside large pocket and then we can go through like the mats and layers and all the other pockets so to make the main case you want a piece of 10 and three quarters by three and a half along the longer side there you're going to score at four and a half and four and three quarters then at nine and a quarter and nine and a half you then want this end, just rotate it around so it's now at the top and you're working along the short side and you're going to score at one and a quarter down past the first score line and down to that second line and then at two and a quarter again down to that second score line. So you've just got that there. Okay, so that's all the scoring for that piece. Then this one here is the large pocket where you can put your notes in. So this is a piece of nine and three quarters by three. Along the long side, you're going to score at a quarter of an inch and then four and three quarters and five and then at nine and a half. So we've got these quarter inch tabs and then along the short side, you want to score at two and three quarters all the way down. OK, so we just keep with those for the minute. That is all the scoring that you need because all of those are just mats and layers. So with this one here, just fold and burnish your score lines like so. And then the end here. We want to cut down, I'm going to remove the score lines. So you're going to cut all the way down where you scored and then just remove that piece. And then again. Now with this one here, we want to cut away that small little square there. You don't need it, it's going to have notes in here so nothing would fall through there anyway. And then you want to remove the squares in each corner. Fold and burnish all those score lines again as well. And then this one is going to stick inside here. So you're going to fold all those pieces inside. These score lines should lay perfectly over the same score lines there. You'll see it will all go in, but this will stay open for you to pop the notes in. So I'm going to run, you could use double sided tape along here if you want. I'm going to use my liquid glue. So I'm just going to run it all down. Might just do this end first. Just to show you, you don't have to stick the whole thing down all at once. So you flip it over, line up the fold here with the edge of the card. And then just lay that down. So it's running with the bottom. If I fold it over, I could probably just pull that out just a little bit, like so. As you can see, when I fold it, it's right at the end there of the card. And then I'm going to add my glue all along these two tabs here. You can do the very end as well if you want. In fact, I'll do it all at the same time. Like so, because that one could just go over the top there, kind of tack in place. Bring this all over, just make sure those tabs go under. And then that one will go right to the end. Just give that a good burnish. Like so. And now that's all gonna fold in. And you'll see it will all wrap around. 
and you've got all that space now to pop the money in. So now I've got these pieces here. So I've got this one, which is where I'm going to have my photo and I'm going to cut. I've already done this bit here, which I'll show you in a minute, but I need to cut the aperture into that and then the photo will slide in there. Let's go through these ones here. So these are the three kind of card sections. And that's where I'm going to have like the card for maybe like five pound to get a coffee and then I'm going to have a gift card maybe for Amazon and then have some money in there. So these ones measure two and a quarter by four and three eighths. Four and three eighths is the width of all of them actually so four and three eighths again and then this one's just dropped down half an inch so this is one and three quarter and then this one is one and a quarter. So you just want to add some tape. You can use glue again if you want but I'm going to use the tape on these along three sides so along one of the long the bottom and then just up the shorter sides and you want to do that on each one and just layer them on top of each other Okay, so when you stick them on top of each other, I've gone more to the outer side and then you should have a tiny little gap there. It just means that you're not going to have too much bulk on that fold. So you want this to all fold up nicely still. So you see mine just quite close to the edge there. And then you can just see there that the cards fit in nicely and you can see the tops of them. Obviously you see more with the smaller ones there. So depending on what you've got, you know but you've got room there for three if you want to add more you can easily pop another one there or just change the heights that i've done so you can fit a few more in there so for this one here i've got this piece which is two and three quarters by four and three eighths and then i've got this rectangle die here you can cut this freehand i've gone for a, my size is three and three eighths by two but whatever you you know you can get there and then i just want to make sure this is the photo I've got now. It has got this sun line. It's just when we took the photo, that's what it was like. But I will do a different photo. But just to give you an example of how it all looks with the photo in there. And just so I can give you the measurements as well. So I'm just going to lay this one in this piece. So I've got it with a nice kind of equal frame. And just get that cut. And then I've got this piece of acetate. You just want a piece that's big enough to cover the back of that aperture. So again, your, very, your sizes might vary, but mine's two and a half by three and three quarters. And I've just popped some tape there and just pop it on all four sides there. And then just stick that behind. Give it a good wipe, make sure there's no sticky marks on the acetate. Now you can pop foam on here if you want to lift it a little bit. I'm just going to stick with the red tape and you just want to run it along three sides so you leave the top open so that you can slide your photo inside. And then this one with the opening at the top will fit perfectly into this space but again hug it more to the right hand side so you're just not adding too much bulk to the fold. And then I just use the next size up in my nested dies to make a little frame. So mine's the same colour. I'm just going to pop that there. And then my photo, again, everyone's is going to vary. But it will slide in the top there. I think I got the width right. I just need to cut a little bit off the bottom. No, not too much. So yeah, you just, just kind of play around. Just play around until you've got again everyone's image will be different but that's now what two and three eighths by three and three quarters and that goes in there perfectly so now to decorate the front so if you want to add magnets you want to place your magnets in now because all of these are going to go on top so i used the lisa horton this was from a magazine kit one i just really liked this effect so i've got one for the front and one for the back and these measure four and a quarter by three and a quarter 
So I'm going to stick those down. I'm going to use the construction glue now. So this is the Kalau construction glue. This will just make it nice and strong. And then I've got this small piece which is going to cover the front here. And this is one by three quarters. And then I've just got some small hook and loop dots here. Like I said, if you want to use magnets for your closure, you can. Just pop the two together there. And then just make sure everything lines up like so. And then just make sure they're really secure. And then to decorate the front, I've just die cut Dad in gold. So I thought gold and green go nice together. And that's using my chunky alphabet die set. So it's quite, you know, simple decoration. I mean, you might not even want that on the front. You may emboss their name with some heat embossing. That would look nice as well. So it's almost like they've personalised their wallet. And then I've also just added a piece on the front here. I just thought it, you know, needed a little bit of pattern inside. I mean, again, you could have a sentiment here if you wanted to. But this is one by four and one eighth, I think. Yeah. But I've just added the card, just put some money in there so you can see how it looks. And then with the photo, I think it's really fun. And like I said at the beginning, this would look lovely, you know, with son on there. You could have daughter. I mean, this doesn't even have to be for a man. You could decorate this. It could be a little coin purse. There's ways to change the configuration inside. But I think that's a lovely way to, you know, give some money, gift cards and things like that. And this is going to look great in a hamper because that's where I'll be putting this along with all the other things that I've been sharing during this series so as always thank you for watching I will link the dies in the description box below doubt you can get the embossing folder because that was part of a kit and the card stock is tonic studio I believe I'll link the hook and loop as well I'll have popping up now some other tutorials that you might want to watch next and if you've enjoyed today and you've not subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and hit that notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any future tutorials take care and I'll see you soon bye